Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to colorize black and white photos. Open a black and white photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. If you'd like to brighten the details in the darkest tones of your photo, go to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. The shadows amount automatically defaults to 35%. However, to adjust the amount of brightness, just drag its slider to the left or right. Then click OK. We're going to isolate areas of your subject by making selections around those areas. There are many ways to make selections, however, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, I generally make its radius between 5 to 10 pixels, depending on the resolution of the photo. I'll start by isolating the background from my subject by dragging my tool over my subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt on Windows or Option on a Mac as you drag over those areas. Continue to drag your tool over your subject until it's all selected. To check your selection, press Q to make it into a quick mask. Then press Q again to revert it back into a selection. Once you're happy with the selection, we can refine it by either clicking the Refine Edge button or by going to Select and Refine Edge. I did an in-depth tutorial on Refine Edge, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided its link in my video's description below. Check Smart Radius, drag the radius to the right a bit, as well as Smooth. To make your tool bigger or smaller, you can adjust it here. Drag your tool over the edges of your subject where you'd like to refine the quick mask. Output it as a selection, and if you want to save the settings, check Remember Settings, then click OK. Press Ctrl or Command Shift I to invert the selection. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Solid Color. Instantly, the selection became the shape inside the layer mask of Solid Color. Pick a color you want for your background. Since I already know the color I want, I'll type it in the hexadecimal field. Once you pick your color, click OK. If your photo's original background is white, change the Adjustment Layer's Blend Mode to Multiply. Otherwise, choose Color or Overlay. Reduce its opacity to an amount that looks good to you. Make your photo active and drag the Quick Selection tool over another part of your subject to select it. I'm selecting the hair. Click the Refine Edge button or go to Select and Refine Edge. If you chose not to check Remember Settings, as before, check Smart Radius, drag the radius to the right a bit, as well as Smooth. I'll drag my tool over the edges of the hair that I'd like to refine and click OK. Click the Adjustment Layer icon again, and as before, click Solid Color. Once again, your new selection became the shape inside the layer mask. I already know the color I want for the hair, so I'll just type it in. I can either click OK or press Enter or Return. This time, I'll change the Blend Mode to Color. Generally, I find that color or overlay works the best. Then, reduce its opacity to an amount that looks good to you. To colorize another area of your subject, make your subject active and drag your Quick Selection tool over that area. I'm selecting her clothing. Open Refine Edge 
and if you checked Remember Settings, just click OK. Repeat the same steps as you did earlier by clicking the Adjustment Layer icon and checking Solid Color. Again, the selection became a quick mask next to your Solid Color Adjustment Layer. Pick a color and click OK or press Enter or Return. Change its Blend Mode to Overlay or Color depending on which looks better to you. Then, reduce its opacity. Continue to repeat these steps for all other areas you're going to colorize. To enhance an area with soft airbrush colors, we'll make a composite snapshot of our image. First, scroll to the top of your Layers panel, make the top layer active, and press Ctrl Shift Alt E on Windows or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. We'll adjust the brush size in a minute. Make its hardness 0%, the opacity 50%, and change its blend mode to color. Click your foreground color and pick a color you want to brush in. Then click OK. To make your brush bigger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Then, gently brush in the color. To pick another color, click your foreground color and pick another color. Then, brush it in. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.